Hello everybody, this is Sir Pent. For Easter this year, I wanted to do something a little bit special. So here are six murders and massacres that made Easter Sunday a day to fear. James Rupert and the Easter Sunday Massacre On Easter Sunday in 1975, the day after James Rupert's 41st birthday, he woke up still drunk from the night before and proceeded to commit the deadliest shooting inside a private residence in American history. He first shot and killed his brother Leonard, and then Leonard's wife Alma. When his mother tried to stop him, he shot her as well. He then proceeded to kill all eight of Leonard and Alma's children. He is currently serving two life sentences. Bloody Easter in Chicago Crime has always run rampant in parts of Chicago, but on Easter Sunday in 2014, a particularly bloody Easter weekend led to the formation of a new federal crime unit. Nine people were killed during the weekend spree caused by Chicago's gangs. Over 35 were wounded, including six children. Reacting to this news, Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy created a new specialized unit of prosecutors called the Violent Crimes Unit, which aims to keep gunfire off the streets. The Colfax Massacre Perhaps the worst instance of racial violence during the Reconstruction era, Louisiana's Colfax Massacre occurred on Easter Sunday in 1873, when armed white Democrats attacked freed people of color at the Grant Parish Courthouse in a dispute over a particularly contentious governor's race. The men were brutally killed after they had surrendered. Because their bodies were thrown into a river, Nobody knows how many black people died that day, but historians estimate the count to fall somewhere between 62 and 153. The Murder of Sister Margaret Ann Paul Reverend Gerald Robinson was the chaplain of Mercy Hospital in Toledo, Ohio, where he met Sister Paul, who was 71 at the time. On Easter Sunday back in 1980, Robinson strangled Paul and stabbed her 31 times, including nine times in the shape of an inverted cross, but Robinson was barely questioned by the police. He even presided over Paul's funeral. In 2003, a woman accused Robinson of sexually assaulting her as a child and performing satanic rituals involving human sacrifice. The unsolved case was reopened and a sharp letter opener was found among Robinson's things that was consistent with the stab marks on Paul's body. Robinson was found guilty and he died while incarcerated in 2014. Donna Yule's Inheritance In what sounds like the catalyst of any class, Donna Yule was a senior in college when he was told by his wealthy parents that he was going to be cut off after he graduated. Yule hired his friend Joel Radovkich to murder his mother, father, and older sister on Easter Sunday in 1992 in return for some of his inheritance. Eventually, Yule's uncle suspected that the murders were planned by their nephew. Both he and Radovkich were arrested. The Murder of Veronica Gideon The media was abuzz in 1937 over three murders over Easter weekend, including that of famous model Veronica Gideon. The culprit was believed to be Robert George Irwin, a sculptor who had previously been committed to an asylum for trying to emasculate himself using a razor. Later on, after being expelled from ministry school, he decided to murder his landlord, Mary Gideon, her waiter, Frank Burns, and her beautiful daughter, Veronica. He was deemed definitely insane by the state. Were these heinous crimes committed on Easter by coincidence? Or were they more symbolic than that? Either way, this goes to show you. Murder never sleeps. Hey guys, it's Sir Pent. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Now, I've got to admit, I kind of forgot that Easter existed. I don't really celebrate it myself, but I know a lot of you do, so I figured, what the hell, let's make a video. And I didn't want to just not make a video for Easter, you know, like Easter specific. That wouldn't be in the spirit of spook. Gotta do that, gotta make an Easter video. But, uh, I don't know. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I really did hope you liked this video. So, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Probably tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow.
there's gonna be a video tomorrow. Don't even worry your little heads about it. But uh, yeah, keep it spooky.